Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we were talking to our teacher about an incident that happened in the swim club. And of course, he didn't want to tell me the specifics for some reason, but I wanted to know because I wanted to avoid it. And then we got to the swim club and Hiromi isn't here. It was just Miko, and then she was teaching us how to swim, and what a water goddess she is. It takes her a moment to walk her way back to the other end. Why didn't she just swim back? So, did you learn anything? I learned that you're an incredible swimmer. You can just tell when someone has amazing technique. She blushes like crazy as I say that. Aww. S stop flattering me. I'm not nearly as good as Hiromi. Oh man. Not nearly as good. That means Hiromi is super fast. No. Really. I think you're amazing. Riley, she looks at me with those distinct eyes of hers. I've never had a guy compliment me before. Really? Is it because you always yell at them? What did you say? Sorry? Nothing. I said nothing. But seriously, did you learn anything? Were you observing my technique? I tried. I... Sorry. I kind of lost my concentration. Mm, lost your concentration? What were you looking at then? I just got lost when I was watching you swim. And how fast you were. Not your awesome body. No, no. It's kind of mesmerizing. You're just so fast. Mesmerizing? You find me mesmerizing. But, but that's besides the point. You didn't learn anything, did you? Sorry, I didn't. I should have known you wouldn't get it. Oh well, I guess we'll just get you to practice more. Yeah, I guess we do. Whew. Maybe I, I can watch Hiromi go. You should dive right back in. Oh, oh you mean now? With the brutality of a slave driver, she forces me to keep practicing. Oh man. That was tiring. The lesson continues on for a while. Despite how hard it is, I have, to s I have so much fun that I lose track of time. Oh, what does that mean? Is it super duper late? Hiromi eventually turns up. Oh. She didn't bother to get changed. Wait, why? Sorry about that. I had to go do something quickly. Don't worry about it. Strange. There's a grim look on Hiromi's face. She looks troubled, I suppose. She quickly hides that grim look and replaces it with a smile. Anyway, how is our new member doing? He's mediocre. Yeah, he's right. I'm bad. I'm definitely not as good as Miko. Uh, of course not. You're only a beginner. But I think you could become a good swimmer. Aw, thanks. Oh? I will have to see it for myself. Why don't you dive in and show me? Sorry, I'm a bit tired at the moment. I'll be happy to next time. It's alright. I have no doubt Miko was working you hard before I came. Oh yes, she was working me hard. I wasn't working him that hard. When was the last time you did any exercise at all? Football practice when I was in middle school. Middle school? Oh. Football? For a moment, she pauses and appears to be thinking about something. So, you didn't join football? You said you were looking at clubs. Why 
why wouldn't you have joined something you are familiar with? I have my reasons. Hmm, what kind of reasons? Something bad happened? Or I just didn't like it? Or my dad forced me? Or, hmm, too many, too many theories. Too many questions. Let's just say that I don't like football. So, let's not worry about me. Unless I start drowning or something. That isn't something you should joke about. She suddenly gets really angry with me when I mention that. Oh no, is that what the bad incident was? I knew it! I knew it was the lifeguard's um issue. The lifeguard didn't watch over the pool. On another note, it's late. Sorry that it took me so long to get here. Miko seems to forget her anger when Hiromi says that. It's fine, Hiromi. Keita did well. Well enough, anyway. So, it's over for today? Yep, we'll have practice again tomorrow. We hope to see you there, Keita. Surprisingly, Miko smiles at me too. Oh, that's good. Thanks for joining our club instead of the football club. Aw, you're welcome. Both of them wander off to their changing room, leaving me alone. Wait, what? But... But... But, uh... Hiromi didn't even change. So, I don't think I did too badly for my first meeting. Nice. We'll have to see how well it goes. Alright. Hmm. 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 As I go through my apartment door, I hear a noise coming from within. Oh, great. The phone is ringing. Who could be calling me this time? I'm gonna say my dad. I know that dad rings at least once a week, but it couldn't be him. Oh, never mind. Slowly, I pick it up and raise it to my ear. Hello? Hello, Keita. Oh, I should have known. It's mother. I didn't really get a chance to talk to you last time. It was such an exhausting day and I had already fallen asleep by the time your father called. She's always been prone to bouts of tiredness. Oh, maybe she's working too hard? It's funny that someone with such low amounts of energy ended up with my dad. Need to balance it out. So, I'm just calling to make up for that. I appreciate it, Mom. I heard from your father that you joined the swimming club. Have you done any practice yet? Yeah, we had practice today. I watched the goddess. How did you go? I bet that you did amazingly. Not really. I'm just a beginner. It's been years since I've been swimming. I'm sure that won't be the case for long. You've always been great with sports, Keita. Always those expectations. Hmm. It's a heavy burden to bear. It is. When there's so much expectation on you, you have to carry it all. I'm not really that great. You're your father's son. Of course you're great. Oh man, stop comparing me to my to father. Do you remember your father's trophy case? Oh, uh, yes, I remember. It's like a billion trophies, mom. How could I forget? She only shows it off whenever someone visits us. Thanks. My father not only excelled at study, but was a great sportsman. Of course I do. Maybe that's where your calling is. If this swimming thing works out, your father said you could be an Olympian. Wow, so you want me to be an Olympian now? <sighs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, it would. More importantly, you made some cute friends I heard. Not this again. Mom wants to marry me off even more than my father does. 
Though my father was talking about marriage, or hinting it. Yes, I have. No, I don't want to date them. Oh, well, you should find a bride as soon as you can. Wait, how old were you and Dad when you both married? Hmm. Don't forget, I'm always looking for someone suitable for my son. No, I do not want an arranged marriage. Couldn't I just have a friendship with a girl without it having to be made into romance? Really, I can pick for myself, Mom. You don't need to do that for me. Well, at the very least, you should consult me first. She needs to be every bit as amazing as I know you will be. Um, that means you would pick it because then you wouldn't approve. So that kind of defeats the purpose of me picking who I want to date, Mom. I will be, huh? Anyway, you couldn't have done much study yet, but you should do your best, okay? I will, I will. Going through the motions once again. All you need to do is try, Kata. I know, I know. Anyway, I need to go. I'm glad to hear that you're settling in, okay? Remember to consult me if either of those girls. Yes, I know. It's fine. Okay then. Talk to you later, Kata. Remember that we both love you very much. I love you both too. Talk to you later. A click echoes through the phone. I'm finally through that ordeal. Ah, oh, thank goodness. What if I really am incapable, and I have just deluded myself into thinking that I really am capable? No, don't think like that. No, that can't be true. The swimming club. It feels different. Miko and Hiromi. I want to compete with them. I want to be able to match them. Besides, swimming practice is like a soothing balm for my mind. There you go. Nice. You lose yourself when you slip beneath the water's surface. The world becomes filled with deep blue and surging bubbles. Ooh, bubbles! I don't have to worry about study, my parents, anything else. All that matters is reaching the other end of the pool. It's something that I can simply just enjoy without having to be the best at it. Nice. Maybe that's your passion there. Like I said, billions of times, my parents always seem to spoil everything I do because they want me to be the best. When all I want is to have fun. Yeah, sometimes being the best isn't having fun. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my mom trying to marry me off. So, everyone. If you guys enjoyed it, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!